Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali from Excel Basement. In this video, we will learn about how to format numbers and how to correct the date formats uh, in Microsoft Power Query. So let's get start. I have opened a data in Excel application. Uh, first, let's understand how it looks like. So for example, if I uh, extract some data from a software and see in Microsoft Excel, so we have three columns here in this data set date customer and total and the format of the date is basically a number it's not looking like a date so we need to correct that and as well as uh, you know that the numbers should be on the right side of a cell uh, the numbers which are on the left side are not basically as a property of a number it's it's a text value so to cross check this in Excel we can use a function that is called is number so if this is a number it will generate a boolean value uh, so a boolean value true indicates that it's actually a number but it's not a number it's basically a text value okay and uh, if I try to sum a few numbers with the example of sum function for example so it's not returning the value it's returning the zero this means that the type of these numbers is not correct okay so this kind of issue occurs from some of the software's extraction of the data and we need to correct them in uh, power query either you use in excel or power bi so there are two issues the correction of the date format and the correction of the numbers as well okay so let's import this data in power bi and let's get started how we can correct that so in power bi i will click on get data from excel workbook and this is PQ14, formatting numbers and dates. Okay, so we have the table here. So we will select this table and uh, click on transform data, which will get into the Power Query Editor. All right, so first we need to see that which two, which columns we need to correct. Now here you can see that uh, the numbers are coming on the right side. So automatically Power Query has detected and changed the type of this total column. Okay. And you can just click on the uh, small icon of the left side of the header where you can uh, select the property of that particular you want to set. So we'll select either you want to have a decimal number or as a whole number. So if I click on whole number, it will uh, I will click on add new step and it will convert in that as a new whole number so you can change the formatting uh, format types as well okay from here for the date uh, what is required is because it coming as a number and we will click on this small icon on the left side of the header and we will select instead of one two three which is whole number we want to select the date here so it's coming now uh, as a proper format of slash formatted dates okay so once this has been corrected click on close and apply and now you are ready to use these fields in your power bi dashboard one more thing you might think about it that what happens if the data gets append and it's coming wrong from the data source so remember that whatever the steps you applied in power query and if the data gets appending or increasing with the passage of time uh, you just need to click on refresh and uh, the data will transform automatically so that's the beauty of power query because all those steps which you perform in power query is being recorded just like a concept of macro you do in excel so in power query once you do the data transformation and data cleanup uh, all has been recorded and when the data gets increasing with the passage of time you don't have to worry about and you don't have to repeat the steps just click on refresh and your data will be ready to use in the dashboard thank you